Well, welcome to vehicle maintenance and repairs.com. Gary Dalekoo is your host and mechanic once again. Today we have a Hyundai i20. It's about the 2010-2011 model. We're going to be doing a front wheel bearing. Okay. So uh, without further ado, let's go and uh, get the, the wheel bearing hub off. I replace the new bearing, put the hub back, you know, and test drive and make sure that the bearing job is done. All right. So let's go. <laughs> So we today have a, a i10 um, Hyundai and uh, we have a wheel bearing here. I don't know if you can hear that, sounds really rough. That wheel bearing needs to be replaced. So the first thing we need to do Right, then the next thing we need to do is we need to loosen up the <coughs> we need to loosen up the uh, CV joint uh, nut. And we hope that that thing is not too seized in there. Okay, it's supposed to have moved by now already. Yeah, so basically we, we need a like a heavy duty kind of driver. Okay. Um, I've got an old uh, input shaft gear of an old gearbox here. I also just make sure that I put the nut on so that we keep the thread clean. I use a heavy hammer. Okay, and let's just see if that works. Well, we do need to get the caliper off. Okay, so we take the caliper off in its entirety. So we'll just push the pistons back. A little bit okay and then at the back there we would have a size 14 uh, sorry size 17 bolt there two bolts okay we'll get them off get them loose okay those are the caliper the caliper box size 17 heads we'll take two two of them we'll take them off Here we go. So let's just see if those star screws are loose. Yeah, they're not too bad. So I could just take it loose with a normal screwdriver, enough pressure. I think with us banging on it, it probably loosened it up a little bit. Okay. So we get the disc out of the way. Okay, so I've had no luck with getting that uh, seized uh, CV joint through there. So I'm going to take the whole unit off. I'm going to loosen the CV joint by the by the by the by the gearbox side, and take the whole thing with the CV joint to the bench and see if we could maybe uh, have better uh, luck with loosening it up here. You know, grip the head, get the head out, so that we can get a spanner onto that bolt nut and loosen it up. Okay, so once we've got that loose, we just need to shock it a bit. There we go. It's out. See if it'll loosen. Yeah. So nothing a bolt. Okay. Two of them. Before we pull the bolts out, I just want to loosen up the, the ball joint down at the bottom. bolt out as you can see okay that's with the ball joint at the bottom and then we should just be able to take a a lever and just bend the wheel bone down 
Okay, so now I can just pull out the whole unit, put it on the bench. So now what I can do, I can, you know, gravity can do a bit of work fastly, so I'll just pump some loosening liquid in there. You know, we're gonna have to give it some time. So I eventually had to go the, the press route to get this uh, thingy out here. I managed to set it up in my press. So now we're going to see if we can press this CV joint out of the hub. Okay, so so far I've had no luck with getting this thing to release. I've got it in a 10 ton press and it still doesn't want to. So now we apply a bit of heat to the hub. And hopefully that is going to help us to do some of the unity. Right, finally. Okay, just to reiterate, that was stuck in there, seized in there. And I used a 10 ton press, okay, and it wouldn't budge. But when we you added heat, okay, I added heat to this area here. Okay, to that area. And that basically foiled the bearing inside as well. But the bearing was finished, okay. So now we have to take the hub, um, we have to take the, 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 the hub off the carrier, okay, and take the bearing out of the carrier. So that we need a, a uh, we're going to be needing a, um, uh, the press for that as well. Yeah. All right, so that's the only way to do this. Okay, I've got some assistance. Right, and that is separating the bearing carrier, okay, from the hub. So we still got the piece to chisel off the out. Okay, so now we have to get this cone, okay, we have to get this cone off, because we're going to need to use the hub again. All right, so what I do, I normally just use a chisel like that, and then I get that cone to, to slide off. Okay. Just give it a couple of knocks. Right, so now we have um, we have the, the hub, which we can reuse again. You can actually see. Can you see there? There's a clip, it's a, it's a round clip. So one has to use an old screwdriver actually. Yeah, that did the trick. Gave us a start on that wire clip. So there we've got the clip out now. Now we gotta go to the vice and we gotta press this bearing out to the, in, the, in this direction. So we're just gonna pump out our bearing. Hopefully it will go smoother. Easier than trying to get that, that CV joint out. Okay. Right, so there we are. All right, that's what the bearing looks like. Okay. Okay, so just to recap now, okay. We've got the bearing carrier, okay. We've got the bearing that needs to be pressed into there. Okay, we've got the clip that retains the bearing. And then of course we have the, uh, we have the hub that is going to have to be pressed through that bearing once we've got the new bearing in, okay and then it will basically be the job well done. But for now, I'm going to go and source a new bearing, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so we've got a new bearing, a Gibson brand, which uh, I've used a couple of times. I've never really had any problems with it. So we get a new uh, retaining nut and clip, okay, and we get a bearing itself. So we just need to make sure that our bearing is the same diameter, okay, inside and out, all right, looks right there, okay. So now we can take that bearing apart and then I will be putting it in into the bearing.
carrier all right we press it all the way down okay so it cannot go anymore like that okay like that and then we release our we release our uh, our press all right we take all our fittings off that just comes out of the way quite nicely all right and then we left with a bearing in there you can see the grooves exposed now we got to go put a new ring in so putting our new ring in is quite simple okay we we'll take the new ring we'll use a screwdriver okay we'll get the ring in have you noticed this ring has got a little bit of a kink in it okay that's to make it easier to take out if you look at the original ring there's no kink you know to be able to 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 lift it to be able to lift it out there's no kink there's no 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 bend look at that ring that's a new ring that came with a bearing you see there are two bends so it's easier to take out you know when you do the bearing again so all that we need to do we just need to take that ring we need to push that ring into the groove like that make sure that it hooks okay and that's put it so now we have to take our we now have to take our um, our hub and we have to press our hub through the center of the bearing but we can't just do just like that we can't just do it just like that because you'll damage the bearing so what you basically need to do so what you basically need to do you need to get a socket big enough okay for that to fit the center of that bearing okay let me take you closer you see we need a socket you see that center that center piece not that outer piece because if you press on there you're going to damage the new bearing you need to press here okay so we're going to be doing that and then the hub comes in from the opposite side and get pressed so that gets pushed against the, the press okay so that we do not damage the bearing so let's go set it up in the press how we build this thing up okay we do that and then we do that okay make sure that that socket is in the center you know it's got to be in the center here and then we have our, our hub okay that goes in and then we have some spaces just to bolt it up i'll hold it this time okay just to center it so now we press okay and we press and we press until that bearing seats home and then the bearing should be fitted properly like it, like it should be okay and then we can assemble the bearing carrier back onto the engine and onto the car again okay all right so we let that go okay we let that go and uh, now you basically see that bearings in and she is she will be smooth that'll be we'll go to the other bench okay now you'll see that is as smooth as a baby's bum there's no roughness there's no thing in it so now what we do is we put the the CV shaft back which I did already okay now we're going to fit this unit quickly which is quite simple it is just the 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 the, 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 the strut two bolts in the strut one bolt in the ball joint one in the tie rod end and then of course we put our our, cali our disc on and our caliper and then our job's done <laughs> So we'll put the, finally put the wheel on, okay, because everything's locked up and tight. I've got to say, this was a complete nightmare, this, this job. Firstly, because the CV joint wouldn't come out of the hub, okay, and I didn't want to cost the customer a new CV joint. So I tried my best to get it out, as you can see in the video. I tried heat and a press, which I got it right, but we did deform the wheel bearing carrier a little bit. So what was basically happening is, when I put everything together, it didn't line up, because the disc 
break this was scraping against the hub carrier so I had to basically heat up the ears of the hub carrier and knock it as straight as possible as I could get it you know otherwise when uh, the wheel was on there was a hell of a scraping noise so you know with it the way it is now everything seems to be okay let's just see when I shoot on this wheel here tighten this wheel up nicely and let's see what action is it. right oh that's nice and smooth and the wheel bearing is quiet okay so I will have to do is jack it down take it for a spin make sure everything is on the all right so thank you for joining me at vehicle maintenance and repairs.com for the um, i10 uh, uh, wheel bearing okay it was a bit of a struggle i gotta say i have never had such a hard time putting a wheel bearing in you as you could see how fused that uh, cv joint was to the hub that was our biggest problem over there and with me pressing you know putting so much pressure on the on the on the wheel bearing carrier we actually distorted it and when i put everything back we had a lot of scraping sounds you know on the hub and then i had to strip everything down and then to put it in the press and press it straight again you know but everything 100 percent now vehicle is driving nice and smooth there's no more uh, wheel bearing boo 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 okay so um uh, thank you once again you know for visiting my channel i would like to just remind you um you know to uh, subscribe if you haven't already and also press the bell notification button for all the new videos as they come out okay another thing is you know i never really ask you guys for anything but i am actually just saying i do have a super thank you button on my channel i would really appreciate it you know if you guys make some kind of a contribution just to keep the channel going and also for me to be able to bring more to you you know as the viewer and the subscriber uh, it's their way of um, you know me getting some help with building my channel financially when it comes to uh, equipment you know tools things like that this is all just to give you a better experience in the videos as you can see some of my videos are very rough because the lightings may be not right and all that i'd like to correct that as we go along but the important thing is to get the actual message across to you and for you to be able to follow the procedure okay and save yourself a little bit of money so just consider that you know and also the notification bell icon in the bottom it, uh, press that and you will be notified of all the new videos as they come up at least once a week you know i try to put out a new video and you know these videos are not very easy to make you know it's time consuming especially in the cutting room when you have to edit the video you know and make it nice and smooth for people to enjoy watching and it's also going to be useful you know you must be able to follow it understand the language and sort of do you know what is laid out in the video okay so for me Gary de la Cruz here at vehicle maintenance and repairs.com drive carefully i'll see you soon cheers